Hey there all you have cats, cool kittens, you guys and dolls, you diesel powered disciples of cool. Welcome to a very special edition of Comic Extravaganza Live from the Houdini he <laughs> First day with my new tongue. The Houdini room at the Casa de Cool. You know you would think I could say that without even thinking about it. I say it three or four times a week. Anyway, I am your host, Big Daddy Cool, Johnny Della Rocca, and as you may see, I'm sporting a little different style tonight. We are actually on hiatus because I'm working on a Broadway musical with Actors Point Theater here in Nashville called And the World Goes Round. I broke away from rehearsal just to do this very special edition of Comic Extravaganza Live with our friends. We're going to get to that in just a minute. But uh, I want to remind everyone watching that we are in the middle of doing a drawing for Batman, A Death in the Family, on our Facebook page. Every like you uh, click, you get one entry. Every uh, comment, you get two. Every share, you get five. And we're going to draw the winner out of all of those names and likes and clicks and shares um, on April 22nd when we come back from hiatus and we got some big surprises in store. Can't wait for you to meet the new co-host, hopefully. And um, yeah, a lot of good things are gonna happen April 22nd. But we got something really cool happening right now. We've got some friends that I met for the first time at the Franklin Comic and Toy Show. Um, and uh, they have a, a great game called Cardboard, as in B-O-R-E-D, Bored yeah. to Death. And just <coughs> introduce yourself real quick. I'm Brandon McClure. I'm the president of Cardboard Games. Uh, I'm Noah Mayhew. I'm the communications director for Cardboard Games. And I'm Cody Peterson. I'm the inventor in its most basic form. So. The mentor? Inventor. inventor. Oh, the inventor. <laughs> See, ah, all that, all that uh, music <coughs> in my ear today. Um, anyway, so um, Brandon. So tell us a little bit about Cardboard. Cardboard is a randomized scavenger hunt card game that you play in public places like conventions, you're surrounded by people, you're having a great time, and it gets you up and out like interacting with your environment. So Leanna, player, Darth Lee, um, she hosted the game at MTAC yeah. and said she they, they, everybody had a great time. Now. If I understand this correctly, you've got you you've got a deck of cards that has what random? Uh, it's four. It's four decks of cards. Four decks of cards. Okay, and and they're they're random uh, ideas, concepts. What? T tell us about that. Yeah, we actually have a list of examples. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what we've done is we've created oh my goodness. several different versions of the game. Okay. Um, this box here is kind of our family friendly for most everybody. basic version. Yeah, but we actually did a um, like convention version called our, our Nerd Quest version, um, and so we'll we'll read some of these aloud. Yeah. So you've you've got Nerd Quest. Find someone wearing a tail. Which yeah. for those of you who are con goers is not hard. It's a pretty it's a pretty easy card to find. So what happens is you have three. Um, different difficulties of cards, and each one is worth more points. I'm talking to these guys. And <laughs> um, we have a home base deck that kind of dictates how the judges of your answers uh, should like conduct themselves. So that's what Leanna did. She was the judge for everybody's cards, so we did like tournament style where uh, we would draw like a one, a two, and a three, and each one gets harder to find. And then you go out in the world, find your answers, come back, and then the judge judges your answers and that's how you win your points well so okay so i'm reading some of these um examples um i love this uh find someone actually buying comics <laughs> <laughs> because we all know that at some of these cons it's all really about just showing up in costume and partying and pretty much yeah they don't they don't actually buy but there are comic shows where people actually come to buy comics yeah. funny Story there. Or find a steampunk version of something not meant to be steampunk. <laughs> Which is also a thing. Yeah. I, well, I know. I know. <laughs> we, we, we cover steampunk and diesel punk a lot on yeah. this show. So, so let me get this straight. So you're, you're sitting around somewhere at the con, and you decide to play cardboard, and you got the four decks. Right. 
Now, are you playing with all four decks at the same time? Yeah. Yes. Okay. When you open the box, they're all just one, two, three, and then home base. Okay. Yeah. And draw one card per round, or one card from each deck per round. Okay. And so, so the people who draw the cards, they, they, they get tasked to find these objects, and they have to go out onto the con floor, and how, how, do, they, how do they bring those up? Do they bring the objects back? They take a picture? Yep. The, all of the above? Pictures, videos, any way you can capture your answer. Photographic like, evidence. The moment, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, because Leanna said that some of the players were actually like bringing people <laughs> yeah. physically to the con suite or to the hospitality in suite. The, in the basic version, one of the cards is actually get someone to be on your team for a round. So it's like you get somebody to come back with you and they play with you for a round and then that's Shameless like... self-promotion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so and, and you guys have the nerd quest. You've got a rated R version? Yes, not as naughty as you think. No. <laughs> now we're, we're not talking about some of the heinous answers that you're probably thinking. Yeah. Well, find the most disgusting looking stain. <laughs> Oh my. Mm -hmm. oh, well, we, we it's, it's, it's designed to entertain, not offend. <laughs> so we were really careful when designing the game not to create cards that could possibly just hurt anyone's it's feelings. It's only as dirty as your mind makes it. Right. It's open-ended, open <laughs> so your answers are your own. You know, and it's it's kind of like, um, think, uh, I don't know if we're allowed to give a little shadow here, but like Cards Against Humanity or yeah, Apples yeah, yeah. Apples. Cards Against Humanity with smartphones scabbed around. Right. All right. So but that's instead cool. of having the answers in your hand, it's whatever your mind generates when in the you real play. world. Right. Whatever so you can find. Would you guys say that this is a great way for people at a con, especially those? And I'm not saying that there's ever anyone like this at a con because we all know that geek culture is filled with completely well-adjusted people. But <laughs> those 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 guys or girls who are generally kind of withdrawn and shy is it would you guys say this is a good way to get them engaged and pulled into the environment and into the whole atmosphere of the con absolutely that's exactly what we were going for when he originally pitched the idea to me which he came up with in a dream um, he called me the next day and said he wanted to create a game that is out in the world that you can play anywhere and i immediately it just clicked like this gets people moving gets you, you know? off the couch out of the house socializing with your friends but using the environment where or you making new friends as your game because you could do it anywhere else you don't anywhere. have to do it at a con you, you can don't. go to the mall and mm -hmm. play this game right. park, the mall in the downtown park, in the middle of the city we're actually we're, let's not get too crazy with projections here but we're we're thinking about city versions too mm -hmm. like so imagine like, you're going on vacation to los angeles we are going to generate a los An or hopefully generate a los, los angeles version that is specifically tailored to, like, entertain you while you're there. Oh, you know, Lo Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Chicago, and New, New York. York. Yeah, mm -hmm. those need to be your four cities. Miami, yeah. Denver, and maybe just the Nashville one, just to celebrate. Oh yeah, that's oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's right. We're in Nashville, uh, so yeah. Well, okay, so let's talk about the development of this game because it's not out yet. No. There's a Kickstarter going on That's right. right now, and it ends when? In three weeks. May 2nd. May 2nd. Okay. May 2nd. So, what, what is the Kickstarter name? The Kickstarter name is, I believe, just Cardboard Games, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All caps, Cardboard, the travel game. Cardboard, All right. the travel game. All right. So and, you can, and you can also find us on Facebook at Cardboard <coughs> Game, Cardboard Games, and there's a link to the, to the Kickstarter there, too. So, what, just share with us a couple of the, the pledge levels. What, what, what do people get if they back this game? Okay, well, it's always fun to do a smaller pledge. So we did a $5, right. we'll send you a sticker. Again, say, shameless self-promotion. Sticker! <laughs> Slap it on your car and advertise for us. But primarily, you're getting a copy of the game. Um, we did... The NerdQuest version isn't available on the Kickstarter because... There's a few extra little tidbits we wanted to add in there, so we're developing ways to bend the rules. Um, the ways you can steal cards, things like that, and it's coming along nicely, but in order to make that happen, we had to push the Rated R and the basic versions, which are both done. So, what we're offering is you can buy or basic, the basic version or the Rated R version, or both together for a slightly less price, 
Or which is twenty dollars, by the way, to yeah. buy the basic version. And also, we're doing the rule books for the games. We're going to have a thank you page on the back, so every single copy that we ever produce, you can have your name slapped on it forever because that's you're pretty special. Cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's that's nifty. And so they have until May second to back this game mm -hmm. and to become immortalized in gaming history by having your name as a supporter on the back cover. For every edition, every copy we ever produce. Ever. Wow. I mean, that makes it worth it. Can so, you imagine telling your kids? <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's fantastic. So uh, any last things you guys want our viewing audience to know? This is going to go out on graphicpolicy.com. Big viewing audience, what do you want them to know? Well, we talked about doing a few extra things. Um, obviously, we have some stretch rewards for the game, including extra cards that uh, is going to help our manufacturing price a little bit, but it's worth it if we can get it to you guys, get more cards per deck, more game to play. And also we talked about doing a Kickstarter edition where we'll have some added artwork and stuff that we'll never produce again. It'll just be only for Kickstarter backers uh, once in a lifetime. Outstanding, outstanding. Well guys, I'm, I'm on board, I'm excited. Uh, based on Leanna's recommendation, we're gonna, you know, give you guys our full uh, backing and and uh, endorsement on this. We had fun playing it. Everyone who played it said it was just a really fun time, and uh, it was a hit at MTAC. So uh, we think it's gonna be a hit with you and your friends. Check out the Kickstarter and uh, throw some cash these guys' ways. Make it happen. All right. Well, that's it, guys. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Until the next time, I'm Johnny Delaraca. Swing hard, swing often, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks, guys. <laughs>